Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. In this video, I'll be showing you everything new inside of messages in iOS 16. So Apple has made a ton of changes in this update and I'm going to show you everything that's new. So let's go ahead, jump in right now and get started. So first up is marking a message as unread. Sometimes you get a message and you read it, but you can't respond in the current moment, but you want to be reminded to respond later. And that's when marking a message as unread comes in really handy. So in all versions of iOS before iOS 16, as soon as you view a message, the unread indicator and the red badge on the app icon completely goes away. But now you can actually get that back on iOS 16. So if you pick any message that you want to mark as unread, all you have to do is swipe from the left to the right and click this blue logo. And now it adds the blue badge back to the left hand side of it. And also, as you can see, it adds the red badge back to your messages icon. So like I said, this is really important if you get a text message that you want to be reminded to respond to, but you just can't respond to in the moment. It's really useful to mark a message as unread. So another really useful new feature in iOS 16 messages is now the option to edit a sent iMessage. So for demonstration, if I go ahead and purposefully misspell a word and then click on send, obviously I'm going to want to change the spelling of this. So in iOS 16, within two minutes of sending the message, you can now make an edit to it. So if I press and hold on the bubble, I can now click on edit. And in this case, I'll just change it to the proper spelling so I can hit hello and then hit send. And now the recipient of this message is going to be able to see that this message was edited, but this is a lot more convenient than sending a follow-up message indicating your typo. You can now just press and hold on the bubble and choose to edit your message. Just keep in mind that if you are texting someone who doesn't have iOS 16, they are still going to see that initial message, but iOS is going to send a follow-up message saying that you did intend to edit it. However, the feature set is not going to be as complete as it would be if both people are on iOS 16. And also something I should mention, if you click on the blue badge below the bubble that indicates the message has been edited, you are able to see the history of edits made to that message. So building on top of this, another feature in iOS 16 messages allows you to completely undo a sent iMessage. So this is useful if you send a message that is so far out there that it's not even worth editing. You just wish you could completely undo the fact that you even sent it in the first place. We now have that option in iOS 16. So just as before, I'll type out a message and click on send. And after you send this, just as it was before when we were editing the message, you have two minutes to undo this sent message. So if I press and hold on the bubble, you can see we have an option just above edit that says undo send. I can click that and now the message is completely gone. It does notify the recipient that you unsent a message. This is of course if the recipient is on iOS 16. This feature will not work however if the person you are sending a message to is on iOS 15 or earlier just because the software doesn't support deleting a message. So if you are going to be taking advantage of this feature, just keep in mind that the recipient could still see the initial message if they are on a version of iOS before iOS 16. So another really cool feature in iOS 16 that I really appreciate is richer collaboration inside of messages. So if you're working on a shared presentation or a shared document or a shared note inside of iMessage, every time a member of that shared document makes a change, you're able to see that right inside the thread inside of iMessage. So this is a lot better than what it was before. Before in iOS 15, it was more on a per app basis, but now all of your collaboration can live inside of the messages app. So if I open up a note, for example, here, and I click on share, and then click on messages. As you can see, you can send it as easy as this through iMessage and any change that any member of this shared note makes will appear in the message thread. So the last feature I'll show you is called SharePlay in iMessage. So when SharePlay first came out, people really liked it because you're able to watch a show with somebody and if you pause the show, it's also going to pause it on their device and playback is going to be synced perfectly between the two devices. However, the common complaint with this was you had to do it over a FaceTime call and people really don't like the fact that you had to be on a phone call at the same time you're trying to watch a show. 
and Apple has fixed this now in iOS 16 with SharePlay over iMessage. So now instead of being on a separate FaceTime call and watching the show, you can now watch the show synced up with the other person, but you can just text back and forth instead of being on a FaceTime call, which in my opinion is a lot better and it's probably gonna make me want to use SharePlay a lot more. So to do this, all you have to do is pick a show that is capable of SharePlay, click on the share sheet, and then click on messages. And just like this, you're able to pick who you wanna watch this with, and you can text back and forth, and the playback is going to be synced between the two devices. So that's gonna do it for all the new changes inside iOS 16 messages. Before you go, I want you to head into the comments and tell me what is your favorite feature. I think for me, it's the option to now edit an iMessage because so many times I make an embarrassing typo and it's just so convenient to be able to edit that message and actually get it to say what I meant to say in the first place. So tell me down below what your favorite new feature is in iOS 16 messages. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, if you found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like on it. My name is Michael with IDB, and I'll see you next time.